Police campaign 2024 underway. Maryland Governor and Republican Larry Hogan is in Western Washington tonight, drumming up support for a new national platform, which could be a precursor to a presidential run. The frequent critic of former President Donald Trump sat down with King Five's Chris Daniels. Governor, what the heck are you doing in Washington State? Well, I'm enjoying myself so far, but uh, we're just out here trying to meet a bunch of folks. I'm, I'm doing about eight or nine different stops in two days. And this is all about an America United? That's really focused on trying to bring uh, the Republican Party back to a place where we can win elections again. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan paints himself as a big tent moderate who has won re-election in a blue state and has not been afraid to criticize Trump-style politics. Politico, as you know, has written that an America United is really about helping you build out a national political apparatus for a run for the White House. Are you running for president in 2024? Right now, you know, I'm the governor uh, until January of 2023 in my state, and uh, that's what I'm really focused on. And then we'll see what happens after that. I haven't ruled it out. There's some interesting kind of parallels with what's going on in Washington state in terms of talk about mask mandates and vaccine mandates. And you actually said something interesting about that. If we if we roll the tape, please just get the damn vaccine. Yeah, I was uh, pretty frustrated when we couldn't get people to get the vaccines. And I said, just get the damn vaccine. Uh, probably shouldn't have used language like that on on television. Probably I just did it again. But we don't have a we don't actually have a mandate. We're one of the most vac vaccinated states in America. And uh, we've been now vaccinated. 99.9% uh, .9 of our seniors and 88.9% of all adults 18 and over without a mandate, just by clearly telling people the importance of it. Why do you think that's happened in Maryland versus other parts of the country? You know, there's been a lot of disinformation out there. I just tried to stay focused on the science, listen to the smartest people in the room. How, how do you get away from these identity politics and get back to the issues that actually matter? It's really what my whole focus is about, and it's where I've always been. Um, you know, it's it's how I got elected uh, in the bluest state in America, in a, a state that Trump lost by 33 points. The Republican governor says he backed the infrastructure bill, but believes the Build Back Better package is a waste. With inflation out of control, that 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 all that additional spending is not something that's good for the country. But I think that's where you get into actually debating about issues rather than focusing on, you know, these these other things. What do you think about the challenge to Roe v. Wade? Uh, look, I have, uh, I'm personally uh, opposed to abortion, but have not taken any steps in the state of Maryland in my seven years as governor to do anything to restrict uh, access to abortion. There, there are fractions within the Republican Party, and there's been a lot of talk, uh, even post-Trump presidency, about the likes of uh, Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, even here in Washington State, Lauren Culp, who said uh, some extreme things as he was running for governor. How do you bring those factions of the Republican Party under the same tent, or should they be somewhere else? Well, I'm not sure we should bring some of those folks into the tent. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure they should be in the tent at all because uh, some of them are completely crazy. Hogan will be at an event with Washington Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler on Saturday. You can watch more of that interview on our website, king5.com. For now in the newsroom, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.